Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be doing a video I didn't really expect to be doing on um, this sort of occasion and I wouldn't ever do really on a normal occasion. But today we're going to be looking at the, the McDonald's UK Super Mario Brothers movie toys. So um, I actually went into McDonald's just today and I said, oh hey, do you have any of the um, Mario Brothers movie toys? And yeah, they just gave me some and they, they just sold them to me. So these ones are... Um, a little bit different so I've only got three of them um, but these are fully made out of cardboard so there's nothing plastic about them at all um, so I actually have a, a old Luigi McDonald's toy that I got I want to say back in 2012 I'm not sure if it says uh, 2013 um, but this is you know how times have changed uh, but these are Super Mario Brothers movie toys and I thought why not like let's, let's open these up so we have Princess Peach bike um, Donkey Kong um, Kart and Cranky Kong Kart. So these are all uh, Mario Kart ones, um, which I'm not going to lie, when I went in there, I was like, I don't care which ones I get, as long as I manage to get some of these. So yeah, let's, let's just build these. So today we're going to start off with Cranky Kong, and then we'll work through the rest of them. So it's um, got some, you know, it shows you what's got on the box, nice colour, everything like that, and nothing too crazy on the back. I know in the other ones that they have a little background that you can pop out, but not with the um, cart ones. So yeah, so you tip it out, and then you get loads of pieces, basically. So it's got these little pieces, they're just made out of like cardboard and that. They're not, these aren't really toys, they're more models. Um... And then they come with some Lego-like instructions. So let's see what we've got to do first. So we need to get two. So we need to get this piece and this piece. And then we need to take uh, this piece. Now, I think they're very easy to assemble. Um, I mean, I'm assuming so. They, they look very easy and yeah. But very good quality for a mcdonald's toy and i know obviously they this like the uk doesn't do plastic toys anymore um for mcdonald's but with all things considered these are pretty good um and i actually think these are slightly better than the ones in america it's just my opinion but i think these ones are really cool they um provide a lot more to do so we're putting the wheels on now i'm following the instructions um so it's a bit wobbly but I'm sure it'll become more sturdy. So we turn around to the other side, and there's only five steps, unless you count that sixth one, but the sixth one is just having it finished. Um, so we need to take um, this piece, which is like the wheel sort of thing, and we need to put it um, on here. Yep, okay, so that puts the wheels together. It makes it a bit more sturdy. And then we take the seat back here, um, Cranky Kong's seat, and then we put it right on here if it will go on that's how big it does and then there you go so it just goes right on and then you take your cranky kong um and you just put him right on there and then there you go that is cranky kong very very easy to build but honestly i think this guy looks so cool he's very sturdy everything like that like i said he's not a toy so his wheels don't move anything like that but honestly I think this is really good. It's got some, you know, it's got all the details and everything on there. They really did put some effort into the build. I think it looks really cool. It's a nice size. Um, obviously, you get Cranky Kong on there. So, if you want to take him off and play with him, I guess you can. Um, but, honestly, I think this more just looks nice as a model. Like, just on your desk or something. I know it sounds stupid having a McDonald's toy sat on your desk. But, I really do think this one looks good. So, now we're going to move on to Princess Peach Bike. Now, this one... Maybe my favourite one. Um, I kind of feel bad for Peach because she's just surrounded by uh, the Kongs. Um, but, you know, I really like Princess Peach. She's one of my favourite Mario characters. And I really like the role she's getting in this film. So to have a toy of her is, is great. Um, so, yeah. So it's got the pink box. Um, and then not too much on the back. So let's open this one up and build it. Just open. Flap it aside. And just this out um and then we should put the box to the side so um this one looks slightly more complicated than cranky kong so same sort of instructions very simple six steps easy we can do it so um start off with we need these pieces now these pieces are quite cool because they're just they're just peach um and it's on both sides 
Um, and this one is very reminiscent of the games. I think this one, this toy looks a lot just like the games, really, apart from sort of the the eyes and the animation and everything. So we're going to take these pieces here and we're going to connect them on. So let's just pop this, this on. Um, and then on the... Now, a lot of people have been a bit disappointed by these, but I actually think these are really good. Oh, I've done that the wrong way around. Bear with me, guys. And you have to match the purple dot to the other purple dot. Put that one there. Oh, whoops. Um, I think I'm going to have to lay it down. This isn't like um, if you're sat in the car or something eating your McDonald's, you've just got a Happy Meal. Uh, this isn't a toy that you can just get out and play with in the car. You definitely need this sat on a desk or a table or whatnot. So, there. Okay, looks a bit weird, but I'll take it. So then we need to take these wheels here. Um, sorry. And then we need to place them on here. I mean, these are just McDonald's toys. You can go ahead and say that, but they're, really, they're pretty good. Like... I don't think McDonald's toys are anywhere near as good as they used to be. And I don't even get Happy Meals. Um, but, pretty good. So, and then we can take our final wheel. And then put it on here. Now, I am going to try and um, get some more of these to try and review them. Um, but yeah. So, uh, that's how it's looking so far. It, we've just got a few more things we need to add. So, we need to add the back seat. Um, Cranky Kong had one of these, just put it on there. It just, uh, it just is used to make it a bit more sturdy and just more detail, I guess. And then we have the windshield, and it's going to squeeze these bits together and put it on there. And then they have it. There is Peach. I think this one looks great. I really, really do like this one. Um, it looks a bit weird if you look at it from the front, um, but from the sides, this is one to look at from the side, just, just to have it displayed like that. Um, I think this one looks really good. I really like the looks of um, this bike and obviously Peach herself. Everything like that. I think this one looks really cool. Um, it's got a little Princess Peach logo. Um, it's got obviously, you know, the, it's just the same on both sides. But I think this one's nice and sturdy again. Um, and again, it's not a toy, but looks great on display. It looks great any angle but that one. So it's great. So now, but certainly not least, we have Donkey Kong. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. So, brown box. Um, this is the Donkey Kong cart. Um, looking great. He looks like he's having the time of his life. Um, again, there's not really too much detail on the box. So, let's just go ahead and open it from the side. Now, this one has, is the most heaviest out of them all that we've got today. Now, if I do end up getting some more, I will, um, I will do a video. Because... This is the Super Mario Bros. movie, and you guys know I'm crazy excited, so, yeah. Um, so, let's just put the box to one side. So, this one has a lot of pieces. This one has got so many different pieces, um, big, both big and small. I mean, look at these, these, like, cannon barrel things. Um, we have the Donkey Kong character himself. So, a lot. Um, it's almost fallen off my desk, as a matter of fact. Um, so, let's get started. So... What we need to do is we need to take these two bits. Now it looks like the cars in the um, film or the carts, as a matter of fact, they are banana powered or banana fueled. I guess. Um, I think that's the same. Well, it's not actually on Cranky Kong's one, nor is it on Peach's. So maybe it's just Donkey Kong's, or um, maybe it's Mario's as well, or whatever. Um, so these two are just the same, sorry. Let me get started with this build. So we need to take this one, place this on here, and then this one on here. Okay, looking looking pretty good so far. And then we need to take the um the back piece, which is uh I believe Hold on, have I done it right? Yeah, I have done it right. This one's a bit more confusing. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's take... Okay, let me just check. Have I left anything? No, I haven't left anything in the box. So we do have all the pieces here. So we're taking this piece. Um, sorry about that. Um, and then we are 
putting it on here. So I'm gonna snap that in there, and it's just a, just a square at the moment, pretty flimsy square, but we need to add these two pieces. So this is the green and purple one. Pop that on there. And then we need the other one, which is this one. And then we should there we go, looking pretty good, a bit more sturdy. Um, and then if we flip it around. These literally are just like Lego instructions. They are very Lego-like. So we need to place this big piece. Um, assuming I've got it the, wrong, the right way around. I believe it goes this way, I'm assuming the banana powered stuff will be at the back. So we just snap this in here. Um, and then we need to take Donkey Kong, um, looking really happy. And then we just need to place him right on there they do they're very secure like they push in really well there's they're not falling out anything like that as long as you've got them in they're really good so then we need to take these barrel cannon pieces and we just need to place these up here don't think it matters which side you do it then you take them on this side and put them right there um and then that's pretty good. And then for the final piece of today, we just need to put the front wheel on. And then we just put it on. And there you go. There you have it. There is Donkey Kong. This one is very, very tall. Very, very cool, honestly. Um, he's got kind of two wheels because they've kind of tried to do it at an angle like that. But if you have it at the wrong angle, you're going to see those two bits. But the cannons look great. Very sturdy. Some really cool colours, honestly. And look at the back, right? It just looks cool from the back, like they're all driving off. So if you put, I guess if you put Peach here, um, and then you put Cranky Kong there, it looks like they're all driving off, having a race or whatever. It's really cool. So there you have it. There is the three figures we have today, all built up, or models, toys, whatever you want to call them. So here they all are together. They look really awesome, honestly. I mean, you struggle to see Cranky Kong, but he is there. Um, but these toys they just they just have a lot of life surprisingly for a mcdonald's toy this is pretty good as far as mcdonald's toys go this one is pretty good um i do i mean if you if you, there's a place you can easily get these i'd go for it these look really cool on display um i definitely would not position the peach this way because it doesn't look quite right but if you have her this way she looks great and i'm definitely going to work on trying to get some more of these so i know that they do ones that aren't carts they do like spinners and they do um the mario luigi van um and things like that there isn't a checklist or anything with this but i think these figures look really good as far as they go they're pretty good i get why people are disappointed because they're not toys they're uh piece of cardboard and i get that they're doing this to try and save the environment so i'm all down for it so i will take it with these toys so yeah guys that's gonna wrap up this video thank you so much for watching please do comment like and subscribe share this video with your friends and family and let me know down below are you excited for the super mario brothers movie all that fun stuff and let me know who's your favorite character out of um either these ones or whatever one you've got um comment down below your favorite mario character comment down whatever you want um that is all fun stuff um so yeah that's gonna wrap up this video guys thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video goodbye